throughout every single person's day, we have so many different things coming at us, so many different things distracting us, stealing time, stealing effort, stealing energy, people that are stealing time, stealing efforts, stealing energy, uh, social media, you know, stealing time, stealing effort, stealing energy. And what we realize at the end of the day is that we are left with nothing. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! This is episode 139 of the Sales Wolves podcast, and I want to talk to you guys briefly today about the battles worth fighting, and more importantly, the battles that aren't worth fighting, that aren't worth your time, that aren't worth your capacity. Um, been reading a book uh, for the last week, almost done with it. Uh, it's by Erwin McManus, and it's called The Last Arrow. And I want to read you guys a, a quick paragraph or a couple of sentences from it, and we'll kind of take it from there. It says, one of the nuanced skills of people who maximize their capacity and optimize their impact on the world is that they know which battles not to fight. They know which ground to give up. They know where to settle. This is not because they're postured for compromise. It's because they have clarity about what really matters to them. They know what their lives are about. They have profound intention and that intention informs every arena of their lives. Those who care about everything actually care about nothing. And let's just start with that last sentence because I, I put stars next to it, highlighted it. I've almost ran out of highlighter ink uh, in this book. Uh, but those who care about everything actually care about nothing. Have you ever met somebody like that? Have you ever met somebody that they just seem to just have this desire to solve every problem and to do everything and to be everything to everyone and, and please everybody that's around them. It just doesn't work. The only way that you can have everything is by getting laser focused on the things that are most important. And it all comes down to guarding your capacity. And we've talked about this often on the sales Wolves podcast. And this reality that the majority of people are operating out of 30%, 40%, you know, maybe 50% if you're, if you're starting down this path of, of getting intentional, but 30, 40, 50% of your capacity, when obviously your full potential is 100% capacity, your full, your highest level of performance comes at being able to perform at 100% capacity. And so those things that are stealing from your capacity are some of those battles that just aren't worth fighting for. And so when it comes to figuring out which battles are worth your time, which battles are worth your effort, and ultimately which battles are worth the capacity that they're going to take, comes down to your intentions. And so I think you have to take a, a very deep look inside of you and figure out why am I here? What is my purpose? What are the most important things for me to accomplish in my life? And then through that framework of intention, you have to view everything that's on your plate, everything that enters your world. And you have to make a decision is having this conversation is having this argument is having this debate is working on this project is is doing this task serving my intention or not serving my intention is it serving my purpose or is it not serving my purpose and you have to be all in on your intention so that you can run from those things that would 
choose to steal that capacity from you. Because throughout every single person's day, we have so many different things coming at us, so many different things distracting us, stealing time, stealing effort, stealing energy, people that are stealing time, stealing efforts, stealing energy, uh, social media, you know, stealing time, stealing effort, stealing energy. And what we realize at the end of the day is that we are left with nothing. We can spend all of our time, effort, and energy on things that didn't serve our purpose, that didn't serve our intention, that didn't get us to where we ultimately want to go, that we ran out of time to actually spend on those important things that we need to do. And so I would ask you to really look inside of yourself. Are you someone that's trying to do everything? I've been there. I, I'm, I'm in that place often where I feel like I'm, I'm trying to do so many things that I'm not getting anything done. And we've talked about that in the podcast in the past, how you can feel paralyzed in those situations when you feel like you have so much to do that you end up doing nothing because it's paralyzing. But what I've come to realize in this book has really opened my eyes to the fact that I need to look at all those things. And I need to evaluate them. I need to look at all the things that I have on my plate. I need to start saying no more often. That's a big encouragement to you. Start, start saying no more often. I had a great conversation uh, with a guy that's been listening to this podcast and we've become friends, Chris Vester in North Carolina. And he said that, you know, he's, he's in a season in his life where he's saying no to more things. Another guy we've had on the podcast, on the breadwinner podcast, Dan Walshman, incredibly high performer, uh, ultra endurance athlete, just incredible business mind. He said, I'm saying more, I'm saying no to more things than I ever have before, but it's given me so much more clarity on the things that are important. And so when opportunities come, they may be great opportunities. They may be opportunities that, you know, in the past you would have dreamed for, would have wished for and hoped for. But just because they were something that you would have wished for, dreamed for, hoped for in the past doesn't mean that it serves your future. And I think we can get locked in sometimes to these things that we always wanted and realize that that thing that we wanted now, when it becomes available and when the opportunity arises is not actually what we need. And so when you look at your life as capacity, and if you just look at it as a pie and how many slices of that pie are you giving away to those things that don't serve you and realizing how much you have left after doing all the things that you don't need to do, it's a capacity issue. There's only 24 hours in a day. How much of it are you spending on battles that weren't even meant for you to fight in the beginning. I just, I love this last sentence so much. Those who care about everything actually care about nothing. You have to be someone that is intensely passionate, intensely focused on a few things. You can't care about everything. You can't be all in on everything that kind of, it's like a, what do you call it? A uh, oxymoron. Like you can't be all in on everything. You can only be all in on a few things if you're truly going all in. And so what are those things in your life that are disabling your ability to be all in on the things that are really important and figure out how to cut those things out, how to delegate those things to other people, or just how to make sure that you're getting the most important things done first. You know, this idea we've often mentioned of pouring from an empty glass. Well, if I'm going to pour from an empty glass because I'm going to give all of myself in a day, I want to make sure that I've been pouring into the things that are most important first. So then when I get to the end of myself, when I've got nothing left, that the things that I'm pouring to then at that point, aren't the things that are vital to my life, vital to my success, vital to my family and vital to my future. I want to pour into those things from a full overflowing glass. And then whatever you have left over, you can try to go after those things, but it's all about your intention, being intentional with your time, being intentional with the things that you choose to focus on. 
I know there's someone probably listening or watching this podcast right now that if you were to be completely honest with yourself, you're just trying to do too much. And because you're trying to do too much, you're not really doing anything at all. And that's why trying to do too much. So focus on what's most important, go all in on that thing and then watch your capacity expand, watch your impact through those important things expand by choosing the right battles to fight. Doesn't mean you're less, doesn't mean you're not capable of more. It just means you're focused and you're intentional. And that is the way we want to live our lives. So with that, guys, this is episode 139 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, Ahoo!